Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel and of course we've all been enjoying the 2.0 update in Animal Crossing New Horizons and many of us have been enjoying the new Happy Home Paradise DLC as well. Well of course this DLC is chock full of new content that you can enjoy in the game, much of which actually affects your own island too. However, one thing that many people haven't seemed to notice yet is that there's a brand new weekly event you can enjoy on the archipelago. This new event is definitely one that you won't want to miss, so I'm going to give you all the details that you need to know. So this new event takes place every Monday on your archipelago, and there's actually a bit of a setup to it throughout the weekend as well, so you should start seeing preparations for it as the weekend begins. Now this event might seem familiar to you already if you've actually completed the Happy Home Paradise DLC and that is the requirement that you'll need to have done in order to get this event which will require you to design 30 homes. The first time you'll ever see this event is actually the credits for the Happy Home Paradise DLC which will involve DJ KK hosting a very nice concert on your archipelago. The credits will run and you can just enjoy the satisfaction of knowing you've made it through the main plot of Happy Home Paradise. However, what a lot of people don't seem to have realized yet is that this is a brand new weekly occurrence on the archipelago, meaning that even once you've gotten to this point in the game, there is a reason beyond just decorating your villagers' houses to visit the archipelago time and time again. Now, if you don't have the DLC yourself yet, don't worry as I have some good news. I'm hosting a giveaway of Happy Home Paradise for playing Disney Emoji Blitz, which is the sponsor of today's video. You can download the game for free using my link in the video description. Disney Emoji Blitz is unlike any other match-free game. Each emoji has its own unique power-ups and you control what to use, letting you strategize with each game that you play. I love the Mandalorian, so Mando is my favorite emoji and he's just one of many to collect. If you're also a Star Wars fan, there's Star Wars events in the game periodically throughout the year. A Mandalorian event is also coming to the game very, very soon in order to celebrate the release of the Book of Boba Fett series on Disney+. You can also use the emojis that you collect in-game to text your friends, which is really cool. The game is also great for collectors, and if you enjoy collecting emojis, new ones are added every week and month. There's also different emojis with different categories like silver, gold, rainbow exclusive, and so many more that you'll really enjoy. Many of the emojis that you see on screen from past Star Wars events can currently be earned throughout the month of November, so get collecting them now. Use my link down in the description to download the game. The link works as a creator code, so anything you spend within the game will help support me and the content that I make here. I'll also be hosting a giveaway on Instagram to reward you for playing the game. I'll be giving away a copy of Happy Home Paradise DLC for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and to enter all you have to do is download the game using my link, get to level 20, screenshot that and send it to me on Instagram at Crossing Channel. If you've entered one of these giveaways in the past, you will need to get to level 25 as a new challenge. Once again, thank you to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring. The event is pretty simple in concept, it mostly just involves you heading to this north beach where you can go see DJ KK hosting a nice little dance party for all of the animals who gather on the beach. Most of them will be dressed up in special dance gear which is honestly incredibly cute, I love seeing this so much. You get to see villagers wearing outfits that you would never ever see them wear otherwise and doing lots of cute dances that you yourself can get as reactions once you've completed the DLC's main plotline. Each villager will have a lot of unique things to say so it's definitely worth talking to them during this event as you might get a lot of new dialogue that you've never ever seen before. Not to mention that it's just great for photo opportunities, I love all the different dances that the characters do, it's great. Of course this is a big callback to Club LOL in Animal Crossing New Leaf where you could go every night to enjoy a special set from DJ KK. Now DJ KK was absent from Animal Crossing New Horizons until the 2.0 update and of course you can call him into the roost to have a chat with him and he will act a little bit different than the usual KK slider but it's generally assumed they are just the same person just in different personas. So this does mean that you can still kind of enjoy DJ KK even if you don't have the DLC, at the very least you can see him but you won't be able to enjoy this event unless you do have Happy Home Paradise. DJ KK will of course play the more dancey versions of his usual tracks just like he would back in Animal Crossing New Leaf and honestly I feel like this has to be one of the nicest callbacks to that game. It is a bit of a shame that you don't get to see Dr. Shrunk here with him like you did in New Leaf but it's still a really nice throwback and I'm super happy that this event has made it into the game. 
One little downside is the fact that you can't really interact with DJ KK throughout this event, but that makes sense, you couldn't do it back in Animal Crossing New Leaf either, of course he's playing really loud music for everyone, so of course he wouldn't even be able to hear you even if you did try to talk to him. If you do want to interact with him, like I mentioned, you will have to scan in his amiibo in the roost. I'm not sure if he can appear normally or not, but I've personally never seen him in anyone's roost, so if that is the case, you'll have to let me know down in the comment section, but I'm generally going to assume that you will probably need his amiibo to get him in. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they will prepare the entire archipelago to make it all nice and fancy for this particular event. For example, you'll see a bunch of lights go up, like these really cool spotlights, lots of different coloured palm trees. You'll also see lights covering the buildings that you've decorated around too. This is all really cool because it just makes the island feel a little bit more different during this time. Originally, when I first saw this before I completed the DLC, I assumed this would just be a one-off thing, which definitely was disappointing. So the fact that it is a reoccurring event and you get to see these changes unfold every week, I think is really cool. It certainly does feel a lot more exciting than KK Slider just playing in your plaza where that kind of feels more like he's in the way than anything. Another special little feature that happens during this event and only during this event is you can get special clothing items related to the dance festival inside of your fancy little apparel shop. Of course, you can set up the different mannequins to buy clothes every day of the week using your pokey, but it's really nice to get some exclusive rarer items that will only appear during the event times. Overall, I'm really happy about the inclusion of this event in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's a fairly simple one, but I think it makes a big difference, and just having a new event to enjoy in general is really great. Honestly, all the characters feel so much more alive over on the archipelago, and I'm hoping that'll set the tone for villagers in future Animal Crossing games too. The sheer level of interactions that you're going to see here are just fantastic, and there's so many of them to discover. There's definitely a lot of hidden details and secrets that you'll find when you enjoy events like these. Of course, it is a bit of a shame that you can't enjoy this new event if you don't have the DLC. But I suppose if you've been thinking about getting it at some point in the future, this might be another incentive for you to do so, as it's even more content that you can enjoy on a regular basis. What do you think about this event though? Are you excited to give it a try, or have you played it already? Let me know what you think, and also let me know how you've been enjoying the Happy Home Paradise DLC. I stream a lot of it over on twitch.tv slash crossing channel, and the link to that is down in the description. So if you want to see me build some villager homes, including Bob's home, definitely be sure to check me out on Twitch where I stream Animal Crossing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like to support the content. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on those channel notifications for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos. Also, don't forget to download Disney Emoji Blitz to enter into my giveaway for Happy Home Paradise. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.